Hello, my name is Gabe Zalna. There's an old saying you might have heard of. It goes like this, birds of a feather generally tend to flock together. Now, let's start off with Valerie Jarrett. Now, Valerie Jarrett is Obama's chief advisor. It's my understanding that she comes from that part of the world, you know, the Middle East. Uh, Huma Abedin, Hillary Clinton's deputy chief of staff. Well, uh, she was born in the United States. Uh, she was educated, uh, I think, in that part of the world as well. Her father was part of the Muslim Brotherhood. Her mother belongs to the Muslim Brotherhood, one of their women's division, and her brother belongs to the Muslim Brotherhood. Anyway, uh, let's go down the line now. A, a gentleman by the name of Arif Al Khan, he's the Assistant Secretary of Homeland Security. Hmm, interesting. Now, Mohammed El Biara, he's a member of the Homeland Security Advisory Council. Rashad Hussan, He's the U.S. Special Envoy to the Organization of Islamic Conference. Salam al Mariela, he's co-founder of the Muslim Affairs Council. Omar Mohammed Magad, he's president of the Islamic Society. Ibu Patel, he's a member of President Obama Advisory Council on Faith-Based Neighborhood Partnerships. Hmm. You know, I didn't notice one American in any of these key positions and to me they all sound like they're Muslims unless you know I don't see any Smiths or, or Browns or Pauls or any of those in here so what does that tell you well if, if you take who he has now in very key government positions if you take into consideration he got rid of Gaddafi so he could reinstall the Brotherhood into Libya, he's working as you know what off to try to get rid of the president of Syria. I mean, he's having a tough time, so I got to believe he's going to do pretty soon there what he did in Libya when he sent in our Air Force to bomb the crap out of uh, the forces that were preventing the takeover by the Brotherhood. Uh, I think we're in real deep trouble. And you know what amazes me is that our members of Congress are so stupid. They've got their heads in the sand. They know that these appointments are all being made. They understand what this ultimately would lead to. You know, I've said this a number of times before, and I'll say it again. If this guy is not removed because Sheriff Joe and Mike Zulu and the cold case posse or somebody else can prove that Obama's not eligible, you better start studying up on Arabic, because you're going to need it. That's exactly where this country is headed. I mean, look at who he's appointed all these key positions. Not one American. They're all Islamists. And you know what Hillary said, right? They're a peaceful, loving religion. That's what she said. Hillary, I think you hit your head before you made that statement as well. We are in real deep doo-doo. And uh, I don't see it changing. Hopefully I'm wrong. We'll see.